Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. Today it looks like Intel's Tiger Lake gets impressive single core performance, PS5 compatibility issues, AMD confirms multiple RDNA 2 GPUs for this year, Nvidia's entire RTX 3000 launch dates leak, an update on specs and release date of Big Navi, and third gen Navi info. But first, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Ok, it's news time and first up for today, Intel's upcoming Tiger Lake CPUs are really gearing up to be a huge improvement over Ice Lake. In fact, single core performance looks to be incredible. In a recent past Mark benchmark originally found and shared by resident leaker Tom Apisak, you can see he compares the new benchmark of Intel's 1165G7 to AMD's Ryzen 4800U. And as you can see, AMD's part definitely wins in multi-core performance. But we are talking 4 versus 8 cores, so that's more or less a given. And that leads us to single core performance, where Intel's Tiger Lake actually beats the 4800U by 24%. Of course, the base clock is higher on Intel's part, so the IPC increase likely isn't that big. In the end, while Intel is supposedly prepping 8-core high-performance Tiger Lake parts, AMD ultimately takes the win here with 4 extra cores. Still, that single-core performance is pretty great. But not as great as having your own website, which you can now do without writing a single line of code with today's sponsor. Squarespace, the all-in-one solution to creating a professional website, online store, or portfolio. It's got pretty much everything you need from comprehensive analytics, search engine optimization, and even e-commerce tools for a fully fledged online store. And it's all so easy from picking a color scheme to adding sections and making the site yours. Squarespace does website building right. So what are you waiting for? Head to Squarespace for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use squarespace.com slash gamermeld to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Next up for today, there's a strange limitation on Sony's next-gen PlayStation 5. In a recent blog post by the company where they discuss compatibility with PS4 peripherals, Sony confirms that their DualShock 4 controller will work on the PS5, but only for PS4 games, meaning the controller will cease to function if you're playing a PS5 game. As far as why the limitation is in place, Sony claims that they want PS5 games to take advantage of the new features on their new controllers. Now, personally, I semi-get it, but not really. We rarely see devs utilize any of these controller features in other consoles like the Switch, and it wouldn't be that hard to simply include support for the older controller. Either way, that's their ultimate answer. Maybe we'll get to see some neat implementations that utilize said features and aren't gimmicky, but probably not. Next up, while we've seen AMD confirm next-gen Navi GPUs as well as their Zen 3 CPUs a few times now, but during the company's recent earnings call, they shared something that's pretty interesting. When we look at one of their slides, we can see that AMD claims to be on track for Zen 3 CPUs, RDNA 2 GPUs, and their cDNA architecture by late 2020. What's interesting is that they actually state RDNA 2 GPUs, plural, and that isn't some off-the-cuff interview. These are the documents AMD shared. Now, if you follow the channel, we've known for a little while that AMD is set to release multiple RDNA 2 based GPUs, but I had no idea that more than one would come this year. Of course, this may be referring to a mobile GPU, but I mostly doubt it. We very well may see quite a few GPUs get launched, possibly something to challenge the RTX 3080 Ti, 3080, and 3070. Who knows? Next up, we have more confirmation of NVIDIA's upcoming RTX 3000 GPUs. In a report by MyDrivers.com, the RTX 2070 Super has been discontinued, so definitely pick one up pretty soon if you wanted to get one. Also according to them, the RTX 3080 and 3080 Ti are set for release September 17th, which we have seen that date in the past, so that's further confirmation. Not only that, but the RTX 3070 is set for release in October and the RTX 3060 in November. Basically, get your wallets ready. Lastly, while I'm still not sure about the amount of GPUs, it looks like we have an update on the release date and specs of RDNA 2, as well as info on RDNA 3. The leak was originally shared by Aquarius Z, who's a well-known leaker on the PCT forums and later tweeted by Lafrit David. Still, as always, it's good to remember that things can change behind the scenes, even if they were correct when leaked. Either way, let's get to it. Starting things off, it looks like the earliest launch we can expect is November. 
Not only that, but apparently board partners haven't gotten samples yet, which means we may not get third-party GPUs until next year, unfortunately. Next up, he confirmed that second-gen Navi will not come with HBM2 memory, with the most recent leaks claiming Big Navi will come with 16 gigabytes of GDDR6. Next, he talks about them being on 7 nanometers plus, which we've known these to be on 7 nanometers, but he's likely referring to the slightly upgraded 7 nanometers we see in AMD's newest XT processors. Lastly, he actually claims to be testing third-gen Navi, and he says a couple huge things here. For one, it's apparently a revolutionary change. He mentions the quote, advanced node we've seen in AMD's roadmaps and states that it doesn't have to be a specific number. It can be a group of numbers and then relates it to Zen 2. That could mean a few things of course, but it definitely sounds like we could be looking at a chiplet design with one chiplet using say 5 nanometers and another being 7, similar to how Zen 2 works. Of course, Zen 2 did essentially have that and they didn't call it a quote, advanced node. Still, this is definitely interesting. Just know that it's way too early to say anything concrete. AMD could be playing around with multi-chip modules on GPUs, but we know they've had issues with it in the past. As always, time will tell. So while that does it for today, is RDNA 3 actually set to be revolutionary? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Squarespace in the description below. And as always, have a great day.